Hey guys, so I'm back with hopefully another short video like the last one was. <laughs> that would be really nice. I am here talking about the Reading Rush, which is taking place July 20th through the 26th. That is a Monday through Sunday, and it starts basically um, Monday at midnight and ends Sunday at midnight or 11.59, I guess. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be participating in this. This is the first year that I've done it. I'm going to put the Reading Rush website down in the description, so if you want to go check it out, you can. It's got the information that you need for the Reading Rush and um, links to like their videos and all that stuff where they talk about the prompts and everything. So um, I am not registered on the site right now. I'm probably going to do that before before it all starts, I hope, <laughs> if I can remember, um, and I'm gonna hopefully get some badges, because you get badges as you complete the different things. So, um, there are seven prompts for the Reading Rush this year, and I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be reading for each one of those prompts. Like I said, there are seven of them, but I'm not reading seven books, because <laughs> it's a week. I cannot read one book a day. That, that does not work for me because um, I have a life. And by that I mean I have a full-time job and I have other obligations that I have to do. For instance, on Monday and Thursday nights I stream and that means those two nights I'm not gonna have a lot of time. Um, on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday nights I do trivia with Mark online and uh, yeah I'm not <laughs> I'm not giving that up. On Tuesday I work late so I don't get off work till 7. And sure, that would give me some time after work to read, except that this week I have a hangout with some friends that I'm not going to miss. So um, that's pretty much the whole night. So uh, basically all I have are Saturday and Sunday. So um, I'm not going to try to read seven books in two days. That's not happening. So um, I'm going to try to read four books. That's still a lot, but I think it's doable, but um, I'm going to go through the prompts and tell you what books I'm going to be reading for each one of them, or that goes with each one. So we have prompt number one, read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. My birthstone, as I was born in September, is sapphire, and um, I like the really, really dark blue sapphire, so like I have a ring on and it's so dark it almost looks black, so it's more of a navy, it's kind of, kind of like this color that my shirt is. Uh, so that's what I think of when I think of sapphires. So um, to go for that prompt, I got the book The Art of Racing in the Rain because this is a dark blue. So it matches matches my birthstone. So this is my uh, <laughs> my book for prompt number one. So this book will most likely make me cry. I know that there's a movie version of it, but I haven't watched the movie. Um, but basically this dog, I'm pretty sure the dog is the narrator of the book. Uh, I think his name is Enzo. Yes. His name is... No, I didn't mean to read that. Oh God, no. Oh no. Yeah, this is definitely going to make me cry. I just read the very first part of the summary. Okay, cool. Enzo, the dog, he is the narrator and it's basically talking about his life. His owner is a race car driver. So uh, let's hope that this goes better than the other book that I read about a race car driver. Yeah. Uh, so I'm really excited about this one. I've heard that it's a little bit hard to kind of get into the mind of the dog, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but once you get past like the first chapter or two, it really, it, it really gets going. So I'm looking forward to that one. Prompt number two is read a book that starts with the word the. <laughs> Once again, The Art of Racing in the Rain. There we go. So that one is going to cover both of those. Okay, so prompt number three is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. So for that one, I'm going to read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and that is by Becky Albertalli. And this, I have seen the movie Love, Simon, which is based on this book, but I have never read the book, and I've heard it's really good, and I've been wanting to read it for a while, and this is perfect for this challenge. So uh, basically, Simon is in high school. He is gay and no one knows that he is gay. He starts writing um, letters or emails, I guess emails, to another um, gay student at his school and they start connecting. He's trying to figure out like who he's writing to and the movie was really cute. I enjoyed it a lot so I think I'm really gonna like the book also. So there we go. That's what I'm reading for prompt number three. I'm going to skip prompts number four and five for now. 
I'll get back to them. Prompt number six is read a book in a genre that you have always wanted to read more of. Now, I don't really know of any genres that I particularly want to read more of, but I know that an author I read a lot has a new book series and um, I looked at it to see what genre it is because I didn't know anything about it. And it is alternative history. And I don't read a lot of alternative history. So for this one, I have chosen An Easy Death by Charlene Harris. Now, Charlene Harris is the author of the True Blood series or the books that the, uh, it's like the Southern Vampire Chronicles that True Blood is based on. I've read all of those. I've read her Aurora Tea Garden series, most of them. She has a few other series that I've read. There are a couple that I haven't, but uh, this is her new one. This is her new series. So I wanted to try this one out. This is set in like an alternate United States. The main character, Elizabeth Rose, is a gunslinging mercenary. She takes a job from a pair of Russian wizards to be their local guide and gunny. And um, they're looking for the descendant of Rasputin because they think that his blood can save the Tsar's life. <laughs> it's it, it sounds interesting, so um, I'm here for it. Apparently in this history, uh, FDR was assassinated, I think, and um, it kind of splits the United States, and I don't know exactly what's going on, but there are wizards. There are Russian wizards. Why would I not want to read this? All right, so prompt number four and prompt number seven are kind of going to go together for me. So prompt number four is read the first book you touch. So I need to figure out which book that's going to be. And Prompt number seven is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. So that's basically anything except for North America. Now what I've done is I've gone back there in the bookshelf that I have where I have all of my books that I have never read before and I've gone through and I've picked out all of the ones that take place in a different continent. So some of them take place in Europe, most of them take place in Europe, and um, I'm going to take those books and I'm going to blindfold myself I guess and mix them up and pick one and whichever one I pick is going to be the book that I read. So let's go ahead and do that. These are all the books right here. Um, I have this Agatha Christie. This is not the one that I would read. This is going to represent the next Agatha Christie book, but the next Agatha Christie book, I have like a PDF version of it, so I don't have a physical copy. So we've got this. We've got The Reader. We've got The Magdalene Cipher. We've got A Luncheon of the Boating Party. <laughs> we've got The Birth of Venus. The Dress Lodger. Death Comes to Pemberley, Letters from Pemberley, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, because why not, Under the Tuscan Sun, and Eat, Pray, Love. Those are the ones that I'm going to have to choose from. So I've got them all in here. First, I'm just going to shuffle them around a little bit. Okay, where did my thing go? There it is. So I'm going to blind myself with America, apparently. Good enough. Okay, so I can't see anything, so I'm just going to stick my hand in here. Whichever one I pull up is going to be the book that I read. That is the first one that I touch. So I'm just going to stick my hand in here and whatever this one is. What is this one? Oh, it's Eat, Pray, Love. Okay, cool. All right. So I guess I am reading Eat, Pray, Love. Um, I don't really know what it's about. I know there's a movie that is based on it. And if I had watched that, I could read this one for that prompt too. But I've never seen the movie. So, oh, well, a woman in her early 30s. Following a divorce and a crushing depression, sets out to examine three different aspects of her nature set against the backdrop of three different cultures, pleasure in Italy, devotion in India, and on the Indonesian, Indonesian island of Bali, a balance between worldly enjoyment and divine transcendence. All right. So, um, wow, we get Italy, India, and Indonesia. Now I need to figure out which one of these I'm going to use for the fifth and final um, thing prompt. And that is a read a book completely outside of your house. Now, the thing is, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I don't mind going outside to read. It would be okay. Except that it's also July in Alabama, which means, I don't know, it's probably like 95 degrees in the shade. And um, I live in an apartment with teeny tiny porch area. One of the suggestions they said was read it in your car. And I'm like, excuse me, it's even hotter in my car than it is outside. No. And I'm not going to sit there with the air conditioner on for hours 
reading. I'm gonna figure something out though. I think it's probably gonna be Simon. So we're gonna go with this one, I think. Those are the four books that I plan on reading for the reading rush. And there we go. That's all of them. And I actually have physical copies of all of these. So that's so nice. I love it. So, all right, there we go. That's what I'm gonna be reading for um, next week. Hopefully I can read four books. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it goes. I may try to vlog a lot of it. That would be nice. I don't know if it'll be daily stuff because like I said, some days I'm not gonna have a lot of time, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But there we go. That's what I'm gonna be reading. So I hope that you guys will join me. And of course, if you want to participate in the reading rush with me, you can do that also. But there we go. I guess that's it for my reading rush TBR and I will see you guys next time, which will probably be a reading rush video. Yeah. All right. See you then. Bye.